Alrighty folks, here's a farming implement. Pretty cool. Right off the trail. So as we continue to make our way towards Cedar Bluff and Bork Falls. Big tree. Usually these trees indicate that something was around here at one time. So wolf trees they call them. They're usually from previous settlement. Alrighty folks, this is what our trail looks like right now. It's been weedy in some spots, but not too bad. But this is pretty nice. Nice little breeze. It's really nice. And we're just making our way towards Cedar Bluff. Alrighty folks, seen some bluffage. And uh, decided to come to it. We're pretty much starting at the beginning making our way through it but big window right there so that's pretty cool pretty nice window all sorts of little nooks and crannies <laughs> alrighty folks we have arrived at where we want to arrive at the uh, Cedar Bluff overlook area we're not going to go down below. We've already been down below, and we're just wanting to pretty much uh, hike to this point, and then take a break here for a while, and then hike back. So we've went about 4.9 miles, almost five. And two of those miles were from when we went off the beaten path. So. But it's cool. It's cool bluffage. It's a nice overlook. You can see a little wave. Reminds me of Fern Cliff Blackjack Oak Trail. Me and Michelle were talking, and we think Fern Cliff is the best uh, state park when it comes to bluffage. It has the best bluffage. So, kind of cool out there. I think that's Chalk Bluff out there. Not Chalk Bluff. Uh, um. Alrighty, folks. We've rested up, dried up, our sweat dried up. And now we're going to, we're going to head on back. Should be about four miles or something like that. Not four, maybe more like close to three, something like that. A little under three. <clears throat> nice little spot. I'm surprised we had it to ourselves. Alrighty, folks. Still trekking along, going back. Back towards the truck. Gonna go eat at Whiffle Boys Pizza in Goreville. I mentioned places to eat a lot in my articles. I never really mention them in my videos, so I'm going to try to do that. Try to give you ideas where to go. Around here in Goreville, we have Subway and Whiffle Boys. Uh, <laughs> no offense to Subway, but I would much rather eat Whiffle Boys pizza. It tastes a lot better. <laughs> you know, I'm not a big Subway fan, but... Uh, and then you got the gas station. They have Hunts Brothers Pizza, in case you want that. But Whiffle Boy's going to taste a whole lot better. It's a nice little treat after a long hike. The owner's really cool. You know, he's come up and thanked me for promoting his business, and I appreciate that. So, good time. But this is our trail right now. It's a little, little weedy. Not too bad. It's been pretty easy to follow alrighty folks climbing out now about 7.5 miles 
get to the top, it'll probably be about seven, 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 eight. Not quite eight miles. Had a pretty good time. This is a uh, this is a really good uh, trail. If anyone's wondering, um, it's a little grown up in the summer, but you can still tell where the trail is. So best time to probably come out here would be leaf off, and uh, you know early spring. Early spring would probably be nice. There's probably going to be daffodils and stuff growing. Oh yeah. Yeah. We need to go back. Yep. And we'll probably hit it again for that. But winter would be good if you want to explore the bluff lines because there's quite a few of them out here, and there's quite a bit of state park land to explore. So, pretty much sums up the video. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.